guys. We're getting festive this week. I feel like some Christmas shopping is upon me. I've actually filmed two videos already this morning. That's why I'm feeling particularly festive. So I'm just running out now this morning to go to Manchester. I'm in Manchester today and tomorrow. So I'm going to bring you with me both days. This morning I'm just heading in for a quick meeting at La Prairie, I think, with Harvey Nichols. It's actually incredibly sunny today and there's not much like walking outside that I'm going to be doing today in Manchester, like where I'm parking is right by the event. So I've thrown on this new jumper. Let me just roll down the sleeves. This new jumper from H&M, nice and relaxed fit. I did get it in an extra large though, that's probably why. Uh, my new bodysuit from Opoly underneath. This is the Back to Basics one, I love this. Just ordered it in black as well. And then I've got my new Joni jeans uh, from Topshop. And these boots, everyone always asks me where I got these from. I honestly can't remember. I'll try and link some alternatives. Um, but it's either Public Desire or Primark, so the exact one I probably won't ever be able to find again. My little Louis Vuitton bag, and to kind of tie in the browns, I actually have this fedora from Misguided. So I thought I would throw this on, and it kind of like is a very autumnal outfit. I think I have a quick Instagram pic, so I'll style it up and put it over on there if you want to follow me it's very friend to one i'd probably just side tuck half tuck the jumper like so um i do have some gucci brown sunglasses if i decide the hat's a bit too much but i quite like it okay we are in the car park i'm probably only going to be in town for two to three hours so it's about eight pounds of this one. Ooh, but it's tight and i'm only in a little car Ooh. I have to like breathe in as you go around the corner. My spatial awareness is so bad. I, not in terms of like I'll go really close to something, the opposite. I always think I'm huge when really this car is actually quite tiny. Here she is in her natural habitat. Whoa, well, she wants it. I know. I really like it. I quite like this one. Yeah, I'm after it. I think black is my next bag. I think it's mine. Yeah. Christmas market's an hour. I feel like it's too early. Yeah. Well, well actually, it's November. It's, like it's not. I feel like October has flown yeah. by. Yeah. Oh, same. Like, like it's it, November. It no by the time this video, it's November. Uh, yeah. October didn't <laughs> exist. <laughs> right. I think just a little outfit picture here. Right. Okay. Let's do yours. Oh, God. It's busy. So you've got clear down. Thank you. Rihanna book. Have you seen this? Look how big it is. <laughs> yeah, so we just got to Harvey Nick. I'm vlogging, vlogging, vlogging. Vlogging, vlogging. With Lydia. So, we, how do we say it? La Prairie or La Prairie? La, I've been saying La Prairie. La Prairie, whereas I say La Prairie. Well, I don't know. Whatever it is, we're going. Both of us. So check it out. Do you work? Do you do it full time? Yeah. yeah. You squeeze this. There you go. And you um, rub it in. I've only got one of Nice. My ugly nails. Wasn't that's right. so. No, that's so <laughs> bizarre having you rub it because I can't like it. <laughs> oh, it's silky. Um, it's Look at the glisten. So this is the normal eye cream, um, but they say if you use the pre serum before your eye cream, you have better results. Okay. Wow. It's actually very festive, isn't it? Christmassy. Yeah, We're just having a look in Zara, fave store, and I'm gonna get a couple of bits to try on, new in and things that I like the look of. And I'll take you into the changing room with me and we can have a little try on session. Okay, after about a 10 minute queue, we are in the changing rooms of Zara. And I just want to show you the bits that I picked up. So firstly, these leather leggings. I got them in the wrong size the other day. I'm gonna try on a medium. And I think I got them in a, me a small the other day. I can't remember, but I'm gonna try these on. They are mid-rise leather leggings. I like the fact they've got the zip up the side and I like that price. So if they fit, these are a winner. 
Um, just whilst I'm down here, I'll show you these two shoes as well that I picked up. I've been after some barely there heels and I really like the height of this one. It's not too high. They're only $29.99, so I've picked up a size six and hopefully they'll look nice. These boots are a little more pricey, but I've been after some black, plain, leather ankle boots. What size did I get these in? Oh, okay, a UK six, $69.99. They just look quite big, that's all, but that's fine. And then I picked up this polo net because I loved the color of it. It's like a creamy beige color. Really nice, $19.99 in a medium. I feel like that would be a nice staple under a blazer like so. So I picked up two blazers. This kind of brown colored, camel colored one, $79.99 in a medium. And then I got this polo neck, turtleneck, roll neck, whatever they're called. Oh no, there's no label and that's come off. So I actually don't know how much that is in a medium. They had loads of colours of these and it's a really nice knit. So again, a staple under a blazer. I just feel like roll necks or high necks with a blazer is a really nice look. So I picked up this again in a medium, this blazer, when it's slightly oversized. $79.99, Lydia has this and she says the medium is slightly too big for her, but she is a bit smaller than me. So I'm gonna try this. Try all these bits on and let you know what I think. <laughs> I've just kind of put this slouchily, <laughs> that's definitely not a word, over my shoulders as um, like jeans and a bodysuit kind of would be a bit more evening appropriate maybe. Uh, but I actually think, if I prop it on properly, I see what Lydia means by it is quite big, but I really like that boxy fit. So I feel like a medium might be all right for me. Or maybe I should try the small as well just for comparison. I just can't be bothered queuing again. I might just have to do that in front of a mirror downstairs. But yeah, I did have a blazer from Zara, a black one, and I've lost it. I have no idea where it is. So annoyed. So this is the blazer and turtleneck combo. Definitely size up in this because this is a medium and I feel quite restricted. Um, so small would have been way too small. Uh, so yeah, this is the look that I'm after. I do really like it, but I feel like it's classic. It's great for my capsule wardrobe, which I did a whole section about in last week's vlog. You'll see that I'm kind of moving my style towards classic pieces and pieces that you guys might already have in your wardrobe, pieces that I feel like are gonna last forever rather than, you know, how fast fashion can be a bit trend focused. I feel like this is a classic timeless look that I really like, so I like the idea of having a chocolate one as well as a black. Oh God, this is the situation with these. <laughs> Definitely can't fit into a medium. Might be able to see here, the stitching's coming away as well, all down the seam. So I just feel like no matter what size you get, and it's all the way down, even to there. Hello, Starbucks driver, I'm speaking. What can I do for you? Hi, can I have a small pumpkin spice latte, please? I'm afraid that uh, with no more pumpkin spice left now, eh? We'll be back until next year. So, no pumpkin spice syrup until next year. Oh, never mind. This is actually quite a good alternative. It's a cinnamon latte and then ask for it with whipped cream on top as well. Mm. Oh, that's hot. So, it's still kind of like seasonal, if you know what I mean. It's got a bit of a flavour to it need to pop into Poundland to get some more bags. I get my bags that I put my Depop stuff that I've sold in uh, Poundland bags. So I need to stock up on some more because I had a huge Depop clear out sale recently. There's probably still a few items left if you want us to check it out. You just have to search for Freya Farrington on Depop and you should find it. Anyway, I'm gonna head into Poundland now. Might as well bring you guys with me and see if there's any fun little Christmas bits in. Here it is, Poundland. So the bags are usually somewhere here, but they only seem to have these puffer ones or these paper ones, which are not what I want, unfortunately. Ignore me, they're up here. These are the ones that I go for. Pack of three for a pound or medium sized pack of eight. They've either sold out of a lot or having a change around because it seems pretty empty there, Christmassy area at the minute. So, all done in Poundland. Got the bits I needed to. I also I ended up coming out with a big bag full of stuff because I am going to do a full-on Poundland gift guide type video. So, 
stay tuned for that stay tuned for all of my gift guides i've literally just got so many ideas going through my head right now that i just i'm so ready for christmas as she says as she's sipping on her cinnamon latte i have book club tonight which i'm so excited for we do it every last wednesday of the month and the book that we have been reading this month which i listened to on audible in the car whilst i'm on journeys is i am pilgrim and i have an hour and 28 minutes left to listen to it was a long book there was about 23 hours to listen to so it was quite a long one in fact i'll show you the zara bits when i get home first before i head off to book club whoa okay back home audiobook is finished just in time for book club tonight couldn't have cut that any finer how am i out of breath from climbing a flight of stairs the first bag just actually has a pair of boots in love and i remember last year this sort of style selling out online so quick that seeing these in store i think there was two pairs at a size six that was it so i tried them on and they're actually very comfy now they are real leather they are 99.99 but 100 pounds for a good pair of staple boots that will probably last quite a few winters I don't think it's that bad and I don't have any boots this color I don't have any this sort of heel height when I tried these on I thought all oh, my heels they're gonna be like as if I've got heels on but a bit like the ones that I was wearing today I might as well be in flats that's how comfy they are and usually I size up in boots but they I was fine with the six in them so that's good and then I also picked up the two blazers that I showed you the brown one and the black one the black one I did size down to a small in there you go you can just search one of these codes I think to find out the actual blazer style yourself the brown one I did get in a medium that is the code and both of these blazers were 80 pounds you can make it more casual with hoodies you could put the polar neck on like I tried in the change room today simple t-shirt and that in springtime on this colder spring days because it's quite a thick blazer so these I picked up because I don't actually have a pair of like barely their heels the perspex usually I would think would be far too uncomfortable for me because I'm quite fussy when it comes to footwear if it's uncomfortable I just don't bother for someone who has a wide foot and struggles usually with a strap across their foot like that to have it in perspex as well I never thought I'd find a pair that is actually comfortable so winner with these at 29.99 so that is everything that I got from Zara she's living it up she's literally in the M. Right, let's get into it. Hello guys, today it is Thursday and as I said yesterday, back in Manchester again this morning. Oh, it's actually not morning, it's afternoon now. It is one o'clock. Our lunch with Elf Cosmetics is at 20 stories in half an hour. I've just parked up, I need to go and pay, but I'm just waiting for Lydia. I think she's coming here so we can shoot the outfits we're in before we head on into the event i'm very excited for this event because it's actually a brand i don't think i've ever tried i know elf cosmetics but i don't think i've ever tried it we are having a three course meal this sort of time of the day midweek to have a three course meal is quite unusual it's a bit of a treat let's see where lydia is we're proper stalkers we have each other on find my friends so i can see exactly where she is i was just listening to sophia and chintia's podcast the girls bathroom but last night at book club as well i've downloaded our new book which we're doing i might as well just share our books with you that i do at our book club so that if ever you guys fancy a read or your readers or you're keen to read or like me you wanted to start reading a bit more hence why i went to book club with my friend and i really like it because it forces me to read books and read books that i wouldn't typically read as well sophia kinsella can you keep a secret so let me know if any of you have already read that or if you're going to read it with me too right i'll see you guys when we get to lunch we're here we've arrived at 20 stories let's go up 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 and away our ear our ears always pop in this don't they i'm getting um really bad like nausea oh really it might be oh right okay mm -hmm. 
I was gonna say, or living higher up. Oh, yeah, but I'm not. No. <laughs> I'm just gonna do a quick outfit of the day in this lift. So this is my new Zara blazer, which I got yesterday. H&M t-shirt. Yeah, it's nicer. I've got the Lovies one and I just feel nicer in this yeah. one. Um, my Louis Vuitton bag, my new Zara hat, no, Topshop. These are the leather trousers that I love. Yeah, they're like a zip up the side legging. And then, I don't know if you can see there, Zara barely their heels, which Tom saw off and was like, what are those? But then I put them on and he was like, actually, they're not that bad. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we're here. Great timing. I'm just letting Lydia know that I ordered chips for both of us. And she went for broccoli. broccoli. <laughs> Thanks. Did you know it stood for eyes, lips and face? No, ne me neither. Oh, cocktails. We won't be having them, driving. Um, but I went for the beetroot option, which is here and then the cauliflower so i went for veggie the two veggies and then we both have ordered the pear bell ellen which i know i've never had but have you ever had i didn't really know what pear bell ellen was i just thought it sounded quite refreshing with the pear. i don't know what it is <laughs> You're not driving. I'm not driving, but you can start with cocktails now. Yeah. Not for me, it's way too heavy. Yeah, same. I'm a diet coke. I know, I was literally going to say. Queens of diet coke. Yeah. Are you a regular or a diet coke? No, Yeah. No. Diet Pepsi or Pepsi Max? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Diet Pepsi or Pepsi Max. Oh, no. That tastes more like cola, I think, like normal, like full fat coke. Okay, yeah. I'll still have it, but when a place says it's Pepsi, it's not alright, I'm always a bit. No, I'm always like, yeah, definitely. Really? Oh, something we differ on for once. I like the look of these two products. This one is the Glow Up Primer Serum, which has a really nice, like, sheen to it. I've seen that before. And then their highlighters as well, I love. Look at the glisten on that, I don't know if you can see. This one is in the shade Rose Gold. I've never had gold before. Taste gold. I don't know how many carrots this is. If I was a carrot, I'd be like, I don't want to like relive it. Oh, it's delicious that. Home, sweet home. I thought I'd just quickly show you what we got in our little goodie bag. So they have this cute little set for the festive period with these like candy kind of shape because they've got the little wrappers on. Candy Kisses Lip Balm Trio. I've just realized it's Halloween tonight. Maybe we should get some sweets in just in case. It is already 12 minutes past five though. So you think kids come around about this time? I don't want to be in when someone knocks and I'm like, I've not got any treats. Okay, this, amazing. I love the colour of this. White gold. Oh yeah, white gold. Super, super pretty. And then they also included in here one of the primers. This is the Blurring Primer Serum. To be honest with you, I actually preferred the other one. So I'm probably going to put that away to one side for a giveaway at some point. This is the Super Hydrate Moisturiser. I didn't realise they did skincare, so... That's intriguing. I got home to two parcels. Ah, oh, this is an invite to a thing called Litopia. So let's crack the fortune cookie and see what it says. Your fortune sees you surrounded by lights. 20th of the 11th, 2019, 7pm to 10pm, Heaton Park. It's our invite. And a fortune cooking. I also got this, which arrived. I did get gifted the other two bodysuits, but these I bought myself just because I love them so much. So I went for this one, which I have in the white, and I've worn it already, so that's in the wash. And then this one I got in the black in last week's vlog, but I ordered it in the oyster white. It's kind of like a creamy off-white colour. These are just so soft, so thick, so great quality. They're thongs as well, so you don't have a VPL. And then I also went for this one, which I've not tried. So um, hopefully I'll like this one. Oh yeah, I will. I was a bit worried that it was going to be too low on the sides, but that's fine. It's a gorgeous, rich kind of 
brownie nude warm coloured shade. What well, early tomorrow Barrington? What time? Going to Hull. What time are we up? Uh, well, I'm probably going to be out the door at six. Oh. What are you singing? It is Halloween, but because we've Sunshine. been out and it's now gone six, we, don't need the, uh, we didn't find any good chocolates in our booze unless we're giving them massive lint bars each, which no. So we might do the stereotypical grumpy old man, just pretend we're not home. <laughs> right. We've not put pumpkins out or anything, so. Oh, there's some love hearts in here. And just the remnants of the sweets that nobody wants. Well, not that no one wants, but we're more of chocolate kind of people, aren't we? I see sweets as wasted calories, just like alcohol. It's just a weird way of It's wasted, no, I just, if I'm gonna have the calories, I might as well enjoy it and have chocolate, rather than sweets. No? <laughs> oh, look at this. We got an invite to a festival and the invite came in the fortune cookie. The what festival? The light festival that I was telling you about. If you want to. I wasn't eating this. Well, I had a bit. There's another one there as well. Mm. Go on, see it. Yeah. You just said I fancy her. I feel like we need a good Netflix series. Chill. You right, Friday chill. tomorrow, I would chill. Choose to chill every day, all day or day. Chill with you. I like chilling with you. So I'm gonna call it a night. I feel like I'm gonna end this vlog here actually, cause then I could do a fun little... What about Saturday morning? What are we doing Saturday morning? Rugby World Cup. Rugby World Cup? Yeah, we're oh yeah. But I could do that as a separate vlog, kind of like a bonfire night, rugby. Full vlog on that. Well, I, yeah, I think I'm gonna end this one here because I've done like a mm. come shopping with me section to Zara, so that probably. Section. Tom. <laughs> so, uh, do you wanna say good night? Night. Night. If you want to stick around and subscribe please do thumbs up if you're a fan of the vlogs and i'll see you guys next time bye guys <laughs>